There is a story straight from the heart. Last month, a house went up in flames in Bolingbroke. A Monroe County firefighter on the job that day soon learned it was his house on fire. Ensley Nichols shows us how the experience changed his outlook on firefighting and on life. My wife never allowed us to wear shoes in the house. Of course, she wouldn't tell it now. Dean Comer looks at his home of 15 years, or what's left of it. Another sofa right there, and you can't even see any evidence of it ever being there. Comer fights fires in Monroe County for 15 years now. On January 18th, while on duty, he got a call that his home was engulfed in flames, something he never imagined. No, I, I wouldn't have thought that in a million years. His 12-year-old son, Nate, was home when the fire started, after a stovetop was left on overnight. Nate was hospitalized overnight for smoke inhalation after going back into the house to get the family's cats, but he has since recovered. I was still in shock at, to begin with. Um, I didn't, it didn't really hit me until a day or so later, until you come back and you see this. Firefighters worked for 45 minutes to put out the flames, and once they finally got the fire out, this was all that remained. Books burned, family games now covered in ashes. It's amazing the things that you don't realize that you need. Since the fire, the community and his fellow firefighters have pitched in to help the Comers. A firefighters group, the Peach Belt Fraternal Order of Leatherhead Society, is hosting a Boston Butts fundraiser. All the money goes to Comer to help rebuild his home and cover any medical bills. It's amazing. I could not believe that they were there were that everybody wanted to help that much. Comer says he now has a different perspective on his job. To me, I want to thinking thinking forward now. I would like to help other people with the aftermath. Comer's home is buried beneath the ashes, but now he sees the experience from a different point of view. In Bolingbroke, Inslee Nichols, 13 WMAZ News. You can order a Boston butt to support the Comer family through February 22nd. For details, look for this story on our website, 13WMAZ.com.